The religious leaders you've seen them, Your Excellency, they have just been praying. The other this is, they are all here, Your Excellency. The LOC5 chairpersons, wherever you are, kindly stand up. And you can, the, the, the local government councils also raise with you. All our technical people from the different ministries. Your Excellency, we have the second members, Central Executive Committee of NERM, kindly stand up. We want to thank you so much. The NERM Secretariat, the chairperson of the National Election Commi Electoral Commission, Dr. Tango Doi, and your team, they are here. We are grateful. And in a special way, I want to introduce the chairpersons of the committees of parliament. They are all here. Kindly stand up for recognition. And Your Excellency, the NERM party has also invited members from the other parties. They are here. Can you stand up for recognition? Your Excellency, we have your leaders, the parish development committees, the ROC ones, the NRM leaders, the opinion leaders, especially from Bukhet sub-region. Kindly wave to the president. Stand up, stand up. That is the army, your excellency, that is going to fight with you. We have the security chiefs. They are here to receive you, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, in the interest of time, allow me invite the chairperson, ROC1, of this area. Baba Chairman is there and is president. Neyazire Monyoko Wange, Honorable Minister. Ah, uh, amali nani zona Uncle Robert? Kanto alovu nani zua? Wako aniza His Excellency Kaguta Yowe Room Seven, the President of the Republic of Uganda. Baba we valo kuiza. Omu bumbi akirenga kuangaiye. Ah, uh, abasigaireyo, abamina bachala tina abenga menya menya. Ba Prime Minister Azi, na ba Sigaire Mwembe na Kanto Alovu na Nyizuwa Waku wa Nirezo Mkifo Kenu Anuvetao na Maondo Wanu B Omumulu kakwe na Maondo Mkibuku Tauni Kaso Ero Mkibuku District Tafunire Omukisa Inti Parishi Development Modo Omuno Sibuked Ezire Kuronchingu Rayanu so, our uh, monk be recommungalo. Ah, uh, President of Uganda Baba, ah, uh, Nama on the one who got your person in the noble Zibu, Wundi, out to Abrenga to Sisinkana, Avant to Tivalikusa, Network Wevalia, Wevalo Creator Program. Ah, uh, Okurava, Chaperson, never see one, never see two, can't worry, Omukisa Guaco Evalia. A government here in Arem, Gabacole Ram, not present in seven, go present to Ayo, Okutua, O Gari, O Tuava, Okutambri Rako, Okutambri Program, Erika Maiso. Babatina Comao, Nasava, Inganzo Chia Passoni, when I'm on the one be in Tuala Ekifo, Kirime Medical Store, Kirime District Headquarters, Kirime Police. Kiri Mekoti, Tauni Kaso Headquarters, Kiboku Primary School, and Ebenezer Primary School. Even the church, Ango Yo Mwaisirem, Na Nero, Ne, 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 Ero Nchi Aiswe, Yone Izirem, Na Maondo Wanubi, Ero Mumuru Kokunyerogo, Modo Farm, Izirem Wanu, Na Maondo Anu, Baba Nasava, 
mufunireyo entambula imonekenti facilitatinga ezoni yange no muruko kutaliamu ne azrail ah ne yongero kusaba baba ochairanu emirundi jerere kibuku primary school kibuku primary school is not being considered inga eronche izire kibuku primary school baba oikiririe kusabe ocho usai somero lirinu libe modo school tuli tufune kirasi mze gimala staff quarters ze gimala lebe wero facilitated baba nkusabantyo ne bigambe bitonto ne byo tina abenga ntalaga na ne yongera okusaba ku walwa basaba baiswe aba aba vht baba bakolo muri muneno ground ah o nengero jo balinga mu baba banengero gibafunanga mu kakasala kagasa watu kolero muri mu munene ino aba baba vht baiswabo na ne yongera okusaba baba oikiririe aba executive aba executive si baiswe Ah, we to call anavo. Baba, we come, we complaininga. In two shops, we nanga come to all. Ne ivonga, we funa kaka to come corner. Baba, kiri kuba kuata ku. Biden saba Baba, otu te come kungola. Ah, inge government yenare. Oh, ne kento to kuata naku. Era no kuangera o. Aba chia person is very C1, na very C2s. We come and Baba, akase ento kutoa. Omo tuwa romwezi, tu kolo muri mo mene neno, olo mo siti to singa neva cha pa sonvero sisiri, tu li overloaded, otu ongere kaka antu, vantu mire baba ne kwe gairi otu ongere kaka antu baba, eh, ah nevgambo tivitio, mwenye kiriri nko mao, insigaire na koru Robert, o cha pa sonvero C1, ane gumuchaire, na maondo wanu B, ona remu. Ewa angali. Era baba ambaye ni kusavira. Avanta valia anu mchaira anu ratiano. Omuzei okaguta museven. Tubeire singa kisovoka. Era maite niti kisovoka kisovoka. Tuakumu ongeire ya kisanjanga. Ulo mute mwe simbire kwenye kumivira. Aviru umukaga. Atukore ile chinene. Baba ukorele inuwe vale. Neazire ino. Sigare na kwa Robert. For God and my country. Your Excellency, that was Chairman Ero C1. I know you picked everything because you are, you are conversant with the language. I now take the honor and opportunity to invite the Ero C5 Chairman, Haji Mohamed Nakeba, to read our memorandum for the entire bouquet, Your Excellency. Why is this, take, this thing is whatever? Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, Her Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Uganda, the Right Honorable Speaker of Parliament, His Lordship, the Chief Justice of Uganda, the First National Vice Chairperson of the Mighty Party NRM, Al Haji Chigongo, the Right Honorable Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Deputy Prime Minister is present. All Honourable Ministers are present. Second Members present. All Honourable Members of Parliament present. Senior Government Officials, the Resident Commissioners, Local Council of Five Chair Persons, all Cultural Leaders present. All protocol observed. Your Excellency, on behalf of the people of Bukedi region and the Kibuku district in particular, I take this honor to welcome you to Kibuku district at the launch of the parish development model this 26th day of February 2022. Your Excellency, with this World Thought Program, which aims at transforming households from subsistence to a money economy using the parish as the lowest development planning and budgeting unit, this will succeed. Your Excellency, the poverty indicators of Inkolera Kida Chonka, as you derived it on 6 July 2019, 
when you visited the Kibuku district during your economic sensitization of Ugandan is an indication of how our communities are still lagging behind in terms of development, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, we have a conviction that this program, with all its seven pillars, will transform our communities to middle income status and sustainable development through wealth creation and employment opportunities, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, we thank the NRM government for the many programs implemented in the region, ranging from improving on security, construction of city secondary schools, primary schools, upgrading health center twos to health center threes, construction of an industrial hub at Tirinyi in Kibuku for the region, connecting rural areas to the national power grid, giving us more administrative units, the marking of our roads, fighting COVID-19, EMIOGA, among others. Your Excellency, we thank you for your wise leadership. Your Excellency, we commit ourselves to sustaining these achievements and hope to effectively utilize them to improve the lives of our communities. Your Excellency, allow me on behalf of the people of Bukhed region Thank the NRM government for the arrangement that are paving the way for the implementation of the patch development model and the successful preparation for the launch. We give special recognition, Your Excellency, to the Vice President of the Republic of Uganda, Right Honorable Prime Minister, the Honorable Minister of Local Government, Your Excellency, he has been here for the last two weeks with us here. I salute you. And the Parish Development Secretariat, Parish Development Model Secretariat, the Minister of ICT and National Guidance, the Minister of Water and Environment, the Minister of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, our own daughter, Your Excellency, Honorable Minister for Bunyoro Affairs, the area members of Parliament, Minister of Works, Minister for Presidency, Minister of Lands, Minister of Trade, Minister of Finance, Minister of Gender, Minister of Education and Sports, and all the district leaders in the region. They have been with us from the start up to now, and we have all been on ground, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, we thank you for your wise selection of a hardworking team I'm happy to report to you that each ministry has handled its part effectively and efficiently, Your Excellency. It is now our duty as leaders of Bukhed region to ensure that the PDM succeeds. Your Excellency, given the high level of poverty in this region compared to others, we request for a special program in a bracket book and development program to help us solve the existing bottlenecks that may affect the success of the parish development model. And this includes Your Excellency. Your Excellency, you are directive for people to stop rice growing in the wetlands was timely and we support it as leaders. This will foster forest cover and wetland restoration reduce pressure on natural forests where they exist, protected by diversity and balancing Uganda's ecosystem, Your Excellency. However, this is to inform you that Bukedi region is mostly covered by seasonal and permanent wetland. This has forced communities to adopt rice growing as a means of livelihood, Your Excellency. We therefore request that Alternative means of livelihood are provided to our farmers who have been deriving their livelihood from the wetland, Your Excellency. This includes fish farming, dairy production, poultry, fruit farming, and piggery, among others, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, pillar number one of the parish development model is on value chain development which requires electricity for processing 
and value addition. However, some sub-counties in the region are not connected to the national grid. It is our request that the rural electrification process covers the remaining sub-counties, Your Excellency. Your Excellency in Heref, the success of parish development model will depend on a health population, which calls for access to quality health services. However, Bukedi the region lacks a referral hospital, and this has affected many people, especially in handling emergencies and the complex situation. We therefore request for a regional referral hospital, either in Tororo or Parisa, Your Excellency. We also request that the following area center force are upgraded to hospital status. One, Your Excellency, Kibuku Health Center 4. Two, Budaka Health Center 4. Three, Butebo Health Center 4. Your Excellency, the region plans to establish a specialized trauma management hospital at Budaka along Tirinimbale Highway. This hospital is to handle the highest trauma cases due to high levels of road accidents in eastern and northern Uganda. The leaders from the region, therefore, appeals for your support to accelerate the establishment process under the Ministry of Heresy. Your Excellency, Bukedi region is experiencing a rare case, cases of severe malaria affecting children between 0 to 12 years. It is pre, it's present it presents itself with the passing of black urine, frank urines, nose breeding, frequent episodes of anemia, and eventually death, Your, ex your Excellency. Kibuku alone, Your Excellency, got the 10 deaths in the months of October and November 2021. We nevertheless commend the government through the Minister of Health for implementing a number of interventions to prevent malaria. It is our request, therefore, that the government conduct small research to establish the antiology and the pathophiology of this disease to enable us to have a more effective remedy. Your Excellency, we thank you for the tarmacking of our roads in the region. However, we still have some bottlenecks that may affect a successful implementation of the parish development model. It is therefore our humble request, Your Excellency, that you ease our connectivity by considering improvement of the following roads, Your Excellency. Malaba, Kwapa, Myroland, to ease cross-border trade with Kenya. Two, construction of the bridge across Mpologoma River to connect Kibuku to Utaleja and Tororo, respectively. Three, expedite tamaking of Palisa, Saka, Kadiro Road. Four, tamaka the 17 kilometers of Masaf border export promotion zone. Five, tamaking Namtu Mbabusolwe, Butaleja, Imbale Road. Then six, tamaking of Akadotu, Butebo, to, to Mbale, to enable your people of Butebo access in Bale City. Your Excellency, since parish development model will increase production, there will be need for access to local and regional markets to stimulate production. We therefore request for improvement on the following infrastructure, Your Excellency. Establish Majanji Harbor, revamp Igoro Fish Factory, upgrade the border market at Malaba, border your excellence. Establish two additional border points at Murwanda and Buteva in Busia. Tamaka Akadoto Buteva Nakaluke Road to link Buteva District Mbale. Your Excellency, pillar number four of the policy development model emphasizes social services improvement. Therefore, we request for a regional capital city like other regions which will foster improvement of services. It is also important that Palisa Town Council is elevated to a municipality and the creation of Kakoro County in Butebo District, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, we thank you for increasing ministerial appointment for Bukedi region 
We however request that more slots are created for our sons and daughters in the ministry, ministries, departments, and agencies. Your Excellency, as I wind up, one day you say that the people of this place, they speak broken Runyankore. They have requested me to short wave in less than a minute. Your Excellency, with your permission, thank you so much. Your Excellency, Avantu Beuke Divataku Kwe Valia Akensu So Rava Rava Isue Nava Isuka Vaisue Honorable Dr. Msenero Ariano Honorable Namiang Kacha Jennifer Ariano Honorable Sala Opendi Ariano Honorable Boso Bossi Ariano Nava Sigar U Excellency Basanyuki No Your Excellency Honorable Samo, Yen Arianu, Erabono, Navawede, Avantu Vasimino, Your Excellency Senga Marie Didia, War Woman, Nawan, Colera Kida, Ejua Trade, Ingebiox, Mavigaine, No West School Fees, Nava Nasoma, Eja Tumuranu, is an assistant DPP, Renzoli, Saburi Joni, Arianu, Kurujon, Osa Dupe Merere, Era is one of the prominent sons, Your Excellency. And as I talk now, as I will never intervene. Your Excellency, in Taku Kuevalia, as a person, whoever occupied the human Moiza in Gara DC, Your Excellency, I call it a number of work of the 19, Oguta Kolekana, Your Excellency, Aruan Syria, no Avu, in Gatumira, Paris Development Modo, Your Excellency, Om Korog Noku Nekaguti, honestly speaking, Akorero muri momsa era mwana na mgwere yo excellence kuro bagwere ntaku kwebalia last day yo excellence o ino freedom fighter wanu honorable kamba sale ya zwirom politics honorable kinobera ali mkintu there is now political stability in this district yo excellence letu sava yo excellence akali okubenge jidikusa tusava anto bejo mteka echalo chikoleniki kitambre yo excellence your Excellency, we are so grateful for accepting to visit our region and specifically to launch the patch development model which is expected to transform our households from subsistence to money economy. As local leaders, we reaffirm our commitment to ensuring that this model becomes a success. Long live Your Excellency, long live NRM, long live Uganda, long live Secretary General. Long live Secretary General for God and my country, Hajina Keba Muhammad, on behalf of the leaders of North, I mean of Bukid region. Thank you so much. Are you excellence or your by the Mutan Chairman, a Somerich Wandi Kochai Sway, on behalf of the entire Bukid, Iran Takokumu Evalia? I now take this opportunity with a lot of humility to invite Honorable Raphael Majesi, the Minister for Local Government, who has done a lot. He has actually camped in Bukedi for now three weeks to ensure that the parish development model is a success. I want to invite you, my senior. Thank you very much, Honorable Namiyangu. Your Excellency the, the President, Your Excellency the Vice President, the Right Honorable Prime Minister, the Chairperson, and all other delegates and leaders of the NRM, the Honorable Ministers present, the senior government officials, the local government leaders, our farmers, our LOC1 chairpersons, all of you in your respective capacities. Your Excellency, allow me to thank you so much. Thank you very, very much for presiding over the official launch of the PDM. I'm very delighted. I'm happy that this day has come. You've guided us. You've given us a direction. And I'm sure that the nation wants to hear from you once again 
on the direction the PDM is taking. I'd like to thank Her Excellency the Vice President for continuing to guide us. She has played her part. Your Excellency, you sent us as a team to come on ground in Chibuku and the whole of Bukedi and launch an attack on this enemy called the Choka. The team was led by the Right Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable Nabanja Robina. She's been with us in all the seven districts. We covered Chibuku, Budaka, Palisa, Butebo, Butaleja, and partly Tororo and Busia. And we shall continue to finish the work we didn't finish in those two districts. Your Excellency, I want to thank the team. And I'd like the PDCs, the Parish Development Committee members, to know who is commanding which brigade. The parish model has seven brigades. The first one is production, productivity, increasing processing, value addition, up to marketing of our enterprises. The commander is the Minister for Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, and is assisted by the Minister of Trade, Industry and Fisheries. Trade industry and cooperatives, sorry. They're here, Your Excellency. The second one is the Minister of Works and Transport on the community access roads. And they have been here helping us on rehabilitation of some roads and the choke points bridges. They work together with the Minister of Energy to ensure connectivity of the area for processing facilities. The third brigade is commanded by the Minister of Finance. Ndugu Matia Kasaija is here. He works with UBOS and others. His work is to make sure that there is money for the parish model and also to assist information of these circles through which we are processing the funds to support our farmers. The fourth is the Minister of Gender, Labor and Social Development. Ndugu Betty Among is here. She works together with the Minister of Lands, Housing and Development. And Urban Development. And they have been sensitizing the people on stopping fragmentation of land. This area has an acute shortage of land. And working with the first uh, pillar, production, They've been able to explain that even on a small piece of land, you can actually increase your production, your productivity, and your income. I'd like to thank them very much. The fifth one is the Minister of ICT and National Guidance. Together with uh, you boss, they've worked together to pilot the data collection, community information system, Honorable Chris has been around on ground. Honorable Joyce, they have been here, and we would like to thank them because, as we shall demonstrate later, we are now able to provide data for our local governments to use in planning. We know how many households are in a parish. We know how many households are in subsistence. We know the population. We know the profile of each parish. I'd like to thank you, Honorable Minister, for a good job done in fighting the enemy from that front. The sixth is the Minister of Education and Sports. And Ndugu, um, Honorable Minister is here, together with the other Minister of Sports, Dennis Obua, Honorable, um, they are all under our dear mama. They have helped to rehabilitate this very school. They put some facelift but also ensuring that education is uh, a priority as part of the parish model. We also work with the Minister of Health, Minister of Environment, on sanitation. Honorable Jane is here. She's seated. She has done a lot on sanitation, home improvement, um, and so on. And the seventh is led by myself, Minister of Local Government, assisted by my sister, the Honorable Victoria Businge, She's been with us all the time, our PS, 
uh, Mr. Ben, our national coordinator, whom you gave us, is doing a good job, and the deputy. We work together with the Minister for Presidency, um, the IGG, I'm told the deputy IGG is here, but Dr. Patricia. We work with everybody, and including the Minister of Justice. I think the people from Attorney General's office are here to work on the legal framework for the parish development model. This is the team which is implementing the parish development model that takes off from the National Development Plan 3. And the chair of the NPA is here, uh, Dr. Pamela. Thanks so much for guiding us. And the parish model is embedded in the NRM manifesto. The first national vice chair of NRM, the SEC, the NRM secretariat, they are here. And I'd like to thank you, and we shall deliver. The local organizing committee was led by Honorable Jennifer Namuyangu. They have done a commendable job. I'd like to thank them, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, as the 2 IC of the Prime Minister in this matter, I'd like to report to you the first attack on the enemy called Echida Choka has actually succeeded. This enemy is in disarray. We've given him a heavy blow. And uh, I have found another enemy I hadn't known. Visiting some of these areas, I found a word they call a kabale. The Bagwere know what I'm talking about. That the head of the home may be so unable when others are celebrating big feasts. He may not be able to buy a kilo of meat, may not even afford the half a kilo. So goes to the butcher and says, you cut for me a kabale. It is not even a quarter. They will not even give him a kavera. They think cannot fit in the kavera. So he puts it in his pocket and walks home. This enemy is on the serious attack. And there is no doubt he is beginning to fear and to know that we are here. Your Excellency, we are here because now that we have seen where the enemy has been hiding and we are sure of the methodology, we will need your further guidance and your command so that we know where to attack on the next front. But allow me just in one minute to, as somebody who has been on the ground, say one word to colleagues, senior government officials, political leaders, technical officials, even the development partners, civil society. And I take this from an experience I've had in the field. I've met three gentlemen, some may be here. One was Mr. Kefa, he's from Butebo. I found him on ground, the Director National Analytical Laboratory. He's there. The other one was Professor Chuolu. He has a PhD in agriculture from Ubudaka. And I found him on ground in his parish. The third one was Engineer Mwede from Chibuku, an engineer from Budaka. Your Excellency, these people made a statement. The parish model is for all of us. Engineer Mwede says, I cannot be a good engineer, and yet I'm unable to provide services to my own parish in terms of the roads. The professor Chiwolu said, I'm a professor in agriculture. But now we have seen the real medicine for tackling the problem we've had. So instead of being up there, let me be in my parish and address the problem in terms of agriculture, bring my knowledge at my own parish level. I think this is for me the message. We all come from a particular parish. Whether you are a minister or a PS or a director, a councillor at the district or some, you must be coming from a particular parish. Time has come. Let's go down to our parishes and make the difference there. Your Excellency, just for clarification, because I've had this question, the financial inclusion model under Minister of Finance and the Cooperatives, this time we are giving 17 million shillings per parish because that's what was in, approved in the budget. We are given 200 billion shillings and we have 10,594 parishes. 
Even if you divide it on your phone, you will not get 100 million. The 100 million shillings is planned for in the next financial year, in July this year. And I'm sure that Parliament will approve that, and we shall ensure that every parish gets 100 million shillings. But for today, we are prepared. Your Excellency, you are actually doing that launch that among some of the parishes here, you are going to give the 17 million shillings to some of the parishes which are ready. The money is with us, it is there, and yes, the women take heart. 30% of the money is actually for the women. 30% of the youth is, of the money is for the youth. The persons with a disability, you are fully catered for under the parish model. 10% at the parish level is your fund. Even the elderly, your minister has articulated this issue, and His Excellency the President and Cabinet have agreed. 10% of the fund is for the elderly persons. Of course, the rest are the majesties. You are neither the youth, nor the woman, nor an elderly. You have your 20% as well. So all of us are catered for, but Your Excellency, Allow me to end with uh, a call for a foot soldier. The parish model is not about the majesties. It's about these people at the parish. I don't know whether our parish chief is nearby, the parish chief of Nadoto Parish, so that he tells the story. What have we been doing on ground? What are the people at the parish level saying about this parish model? We may be um, discussing it and yet we're talking about jobs. We have now created 5,600 jobs for the parish chiefs. Um, he's here, a young man, one of those who were re recently recruited. We are not able to request all of you to give the stories, but let him talk to you. What is the parish model? How are they managing? What has been done? What is their view? And him as a parish chief, what is their preparedness to manage this facility? Your Excellency, I thank you for the time you've given us and the opportunity to be with you on this official launch. I thank you for trusting us to manage it and implement it. And I give you the assurance on this one we shall succeed. God bless us. Thank you, the Minister of Local Government. Uh, o President, who I say, you are a good time seven, we have a lot of quiza, we have a lot of tutaka, Savant Veki Buku, Tuliva Sanukino, Avant Velkedi, or a parish development model, a out Yamba, Okuzomumbe, a out Korea Rekida, Senna to Sokubanga to Korea Kaka Saint. Ah, uh, Avagan, if I say, the Minister Z, Vice President T. Vomboni, we have a lot of quiza. Dim Sanyuki no Mwevale Okuiza Okum Kologun. Amarina Omuzkuru Tumor Zungu Nava Bona Bona Baudi. Ah, Tumor Zungu or Maite? Yes, Tomaita Zungu. Ah, my name's I'm Tamwenya Ivan, a graduate of KIU, Kampala International University. Uh, holding a diploma in business administration. And uh, I'm a newly recruited parish chief of Kadoto Ward in Brangira Town Council in Kiboko District. Uh, as this program, we train at Kabweri Constituency with different ministries, the Ministry of Local Government, Minister of Finance and Minister of Gender. As we finished the training, I also went to my parish and I met my PDC committee, which includes the chairperson LOC2, is the chairperson of the SACO, is the chairperson of the PDM, and the chief is the secretary. And then he, we have a chair, chairperson youth, chairperson NRM, chairperson women, chairperson people with disabilities, and then he, opinion reader. I met them, I introduced the topic to them, 
I defined for them what parish model means. And parish model is a strategy brought by government to imp improve on the subsistence household income level, to improve on the subsistence household income level. Uh, when we finished that, I went and I told them the pillars of parish development model. There were se seven pillars. One is production. And in production, I told them it includes productivity whereby one person can have, is having an, one acre, but can use that other acre to have many activities on that acre. Like, I told them that one acre, you can set a, a cattle or a diary, or just a piece, and then the other part also you put, or pig the farm, then another part, another portion, you put uh, food crop because children want to eat. Which means when you do that, you increase on the productivity of that small piece of land. And then I told them that parish model is not about money, but it also looks at the infrastructure and the economic services. Infrastructures, I told them, uh, electricity, uh, parish model program is looking, of, is looking at distributing electricity in all parishes. I told them that parish model is going to construct for us roads uh, like in our parishes. We have some, we have poor roads and then we, as we were told, they told us that Wrong, Muzukuru. Wrong, wrong. Now you have you have already started. You have already started causing confusion. The parish model is about money. But what you should say, it's not only about money only. Because when you say it's not about money, then you you you, you will go back to zero now. Okay. Thank you. So the parish model is actually about money, mainly. But it's not only money, you add on. Katigenda Murugwere. Okay, thank you. A uh, parish development model, a new program, a zile, inga, a zaukwe sente. Era, a sente, our my rock for Minga Sakozi, a centre that to Krokuma County Gar. Nay, Paris Development Model, a ringiri and every intervening. Adana ringiranga, infrastructure and economic services. To ringiri a Engudo, Masanyalazi, communication, and then internet. Not with the Okupira Gendi, a social services. Social services, Erikuava, Erikuringiri Rakumasomero. Erikulingira kuhereza facilities, erikulingira kumaizi, inga manai kwaonta, kuhereza facilities, the parish development model, ekovanti, uli parish, uli parish, e akubanga mu, e isomero, e akubanga mne idwaliro. So ene programu, e kuhuti yamba, e kuhuti setulai nu. Ah, itu irokupira gendi, tu ine pira, e ya mindset change, mindset change. And they go out to Yamba, Mungeriki, and they is a avant of Okedi to buy a trip to Ozeraino, or Mumbera or Korea or Kida Chonkan. Neo Kubitom Somesia, Jivat Somesia, Sona de Travel and Somesia Vandu, Tuikuananti, a program about to choose Sona to Sok Banga to Tandika, O Korea Akasenti. Kuanga, a program in. It will get it will take programs in Goku Mavinaza. Wanga to bear to Tagana in Noku Momuiga, or Rimoku Zuan Paka Kurugudo, Nen of Namekiro, we see Viviri, or is Kiro Visatu, or Yaku Tundango Lumi to Aroti Kinana. Natia no Kola and Naka portion Katonto Nonga Katentika, Norisha Vinaza, Evinaza Viku Autia and Noizoku Kungura Unga, Emilioni, Ove Kumina Ital. 
au ba wana utaandikira ukolera kensa uh, oxide ya ba parish chief bombo bombo ni twevalia o president m7 wa iswe intiswa na tufunire bya ukola kubanga nyuma ada parish chief ba bayre bali aonge ba maite ba solongi ba msolo chonkani ne sona twevalia president m7 ndi ata sona twiko akutanika ku bize era sona twiko ukola na bantu ba iswe basoro kubanga basetu ko kuzo mumbera uko lere kida era basoro kubanga bairo mumbera ka saint a uh, muwe bale ino muwe bale kuiza era we bale ino president wa ise insigaire tamwenya ivani faris chief kadoto ward bulangira town council kibuku district I think the young man is steady and he knows what he's going to do. A few small things here and there, but you can see the message has gone down. And I can tell you these officers are ready to do their work. And they are working with the parish committees and at each parish they have formed their circles, their savings and credit organizations through their community groups. So I'm happy that at least we have set the stage to roll out and we shall after here have a reflection what is the lesson what have we learned in bukedi and then we shall roll out to the rest of the country we are prepared we shall um, go to all the districts i thank you very much thank you our parish chief Uh, thank you so much, Honorable Minister, and I want to thank the parish chief. Honorable Minister, I want to request you to come and invite the Prime Minister to talk to us and thereafter invite Her Excellency the Vice President. Thank you, our Master of Ceremonies. Um, we still have just two other speeches, the Right Honourable Prime Minister, then Her Excellency the Vice President, we will invite the President to address us. We have a number of items for the launch, please, um, we have, you can see the tractors, you can see the motorcycles, you, you, we are launching the manuals and the, and the guidelines and other things. At this time, allow me to invite the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Right Honorable Rebina Nabanja to come and address us as the person who led the team which was out in the field. Thank you, Mama, for a good job done. Thank you. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, Your Excellency, the Vice President, the Vice Chairperson of NRM, Ali Haj, Moses Chigongo, the First Deputy Prime Minister, Honorable Aritwara Kadaga, Honorable Ministers, uh, Protocol Observed. Your Excellency, I want to take this opportunity uh, to welcome you to Chibuku District, like others have done. You are highly welcome. Your Excellency, allow me to inform you that uh, in the past few weeks, I led a delegation from Kampala, including over 15 ministers, permanent secretaries, and most of our technical staff. We traversed the whole of Bukedi district, Bukedi region, in the districts of Busia, Tororo, Butareja, uh, Budaka, Parisa, Butebo, and lastly here in Chibuku. We have been sensitizing communities on the parish development model. We disseminated information concerning the development model and of course the household income like we have always guided. I want to thank you, Excellency, for the wise counsel and the leading materials including your own books, which, we have, uh, which have enabled us to sensitize the communities. 
we have analyzed challenges in the sub region. We have fixed some of them, and of course, others will be solved as we go ahead. Members who are gathered here today, allow me to thank the Almighty God who gave us the visionary leader in the name of Yoweri Kaguta Museven. We are so lucky, Your Excellency, and I want to appeal to all Ugandans to continue supporting you until when you feel tired. First of all, I want to appreciate you, Your Excellency, for promoting peace and security of Ugandans and their property. The NRM government has made it possible for everyone to do business without worrying about their security, unlike in the previous regimes. We additionally cherish your, your excellency for your pan-Africanism spirit, where you are concerned with the security of, other, of our brothers and sisters in the neighborhood and in the continent. Additionally, the road network has greatly improved. Your Excellency, I got an opportunity to be appointed Deputy RDC of Parisa in 2001. During that time, we only had Terinyi Road from Nakarama to Rinyi Tumbale. But now, it can take you only 20 minutes from Terinyi to Parisa. And from Parisa, you can take just 30 minutes to Kumi. And from Parisa, to Kamonkoli, you can take about 15 minutes. And those are many kilometers. Your Excellency, you can even travel from north to west. I mean north to south, west to east on tarmac. And I, I, I believe this will ease our transportation of our production, of our increased production like we are going to have your Excellency, allow me once again uh, to inform you that the only remaining challenge now we have has been poverty, like you've always put it. And I know the Paris Development Model is going to solve this problem. Your determination and commitment transform the lives of Ugandans from a peasantry and subsistence lifestyle to a money and cash economy with a vision of transforming the 39% of our population who are not yet in the money economy to engage in productive enterprises and a living and improve their quality of life is most appreciated. I hereby call upon all leaders at all levels, starting from colleague ministers, the honorable members of parliament, the local government leaders, to get ready to fold our sleeves to get dirty and help our people to utilize this opportunity to get out of poverty. I also want to encourage the beneficiaries, the local people, the Ugandans, to use the funds for the intended purpose. And of course, as government, Your Excellency, we shall not tolerate any misuse of these funds. Fellow Ugandans, you are aware that these funds are supposed to be borrowed. Use the funds for your own good and then refund the funds so that others can also benefit. Within the parish, of course. Your Excellency, with those remarks, once again I want to welcome you and thank all of you for having considered our invitation to attend this launch. It is now my honor and pleasure to invite Her Excellency, the Vice President, to make her own remarks. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Thank you for God and my country. Your Excellency, General Yoweri Kabuta Museveni, the President of the Republic of Uganda, 
the first deputy national chairman of NRM, Alaji Moses Chigongo, and all the NRM fraternity, including the NRM secretary general and the entire team, the right honorable prime minister and deputy prime ministers, the honorable ministers present, colleagues, members of parliament, our development partners, the RDCs present, LC5 chairman. Allow me to adopt the protocol as prescribed by the master of ceremonies, Your Excellency. I have been requested to do one noble duty to invite you to do two things. But Your Excellency, allow me to make a simple statement before I invite you to speak to us. This historic ceremony is yet another very important milestone and turning point in the history of NRM, but particularly in your calculated steps in eradicating poverty out of all the households of the Ugandan people. <clears throat> Your Excellency, it also reminds us that it is incumbent upon all of us as Ugandans to join you, especially in light of what our constitution prescribes in the national objectives and directive, princi directive principles, including of state policy, including that uh, all, of, all of us and all Ugandans have a right to development. And we, as government, have a right to remind the people about their role in the development process. And more so, to remind them about their responsibility to participate in the programs in ensuring that they improve themselves, their families, and the community, and indeed in the entire government transformation process. Your Excellency, allow me now to invite you to do two things. The chairperson of the uh, Parish Development Model uh, Secretariat will take you through a small series of items which you will launch, and thereafter you will address us. The floor is yours, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency, the Vice President. Uh, Your Excellency, this is going to be a very short one. Uh, but uh, it's quite important that uh, you, you launch some of these uh, few activities we have lined up. Your Excellency, we have guidelines. Uh, these are the guidelines that you signed. And uh, if protocol can uh, just give them to you there. So we have these guidelines. L let me speak. I will handle okay. those later. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. I think understanding is more important than the, the rituals. High Excellency, the Vice President, the Right Honorable Prime Minister, Right Honorable NRM Chairperson, Vice Chairperson Haji Chigongo, Right Honorable Deputy Prime Minister, all the ministers, the members of parliament, the people of 
There are this is all, all the leaders who are here. Our Korachida, Chonka, Koizeo, Murio, our Korachida, Chonka, Murio, Baba, or rather, Muizrahano, Okwenya, or Mumadi, of Sigar of Korachida, Chonka. Mwene nyeza? Kale katuenda yewa ziwe. It is, I would like somebody to translate in Uruguayi. Nchima ite, nchima ite, ntubuke di, Ye babe di jiba yoga na kumbi buri buri omat atumura urimirwe aye kubanga tuli ano mo chibuko kansa we owe wan chusiza. Excellence Wendy, yaba kuchusa baba. A a a change maite nti abata maite ruwe. Or Quatagana nor Butareja, Urinore, Or Samia, Nozana, Navama Savanavo, or Guerre Barumate, 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 your excellence, Navasoga, Navanyanko, or one Nanze. Uruguay and Maite Muvera no Mutumur Yanko Churan Nenge upside down. The Murito Uruguay, I am the Maite to Yanko and Rohan. So the um, countrymen and countrywomen Avana Uganda, Mana Mana, Bamina Vachala. It is now 63 years when I have been on this struggle. In 1959, I left Ntungamo after finishing primary six. I went to Mbarara. Nabe Mbarara. Mbarara High School. Kuisamero liye Mbarara High School. First Sunday, I visited some family friends. On on the weekend, on the Sunday, they would allow us to go for a walk. Baba ikiririanga, oku weekend oku haku tambula muku. Kale sande ya sokele ya vile na chari lako moizo kubakabu wave. On the second one, I visited Mbarara Stock Farm. Sande ya irireku ya chari ire, echife echo Mbarara Stock Farm. Eje wakolo kuno nereria, oku kulisia. This is a government stock farm. Ere no farm ya government. But the Banyankore were calling it. Farm Yum Zungu, the white man's farm. Now, when I went there, President I saw the way they were farming. Looking after cattle was totally different from what we are doing in Tungam. So, I Ntungamo is a very rich part of the world. With a lot of water. With uh, hills. Good soils. But people were doing things in, in the ancient way. Now, 
And that's where the problem was. Rich resources, rich natural resources, but no wealth in their lives. I stayed in, in, in Mbarara for a total of eight years. President Yali Mbarara Kumalemia Kamunana. I heard you introducing one of my OBs. Is it Mubala, the, 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 the king? That one was behind me in school. The, now, when, when we're in that place, we, we started uh, school work now. Uh, Sorry, Your Excellency. Uh -huh. the, um, it's very important to study, especially European history. Because in that eight years of education, Apart from uh, other studies, science, what, what? But from the history and geography, no geography. And you could uh, see how other people in the world changed from from a bad situation to a good situation. In England, how they went through feudalism. Uh, traditional. Uh -uh, not Buangwa, but uh -huh. the, Then they were able to go through the enclosure system in UK. Enclosure. Then the Industrial Revolution. And by that time, they were a bit, very, very strong and rich. While we're here in Ntungamo, we were still as we were. So then in the eight years, I had I visited two other places. One was a, a farmer called Mbire. He, he was a, a coachman from Rakai, but he was in, in Ankole area. He's the one who had started some dairy farming. And he is the one who was supplying the, those schools in, in Barra area. And, and doing organized agriculture. Then the USAID had started a program in 1958. Of, of clearing chest flies from the different counties of Ankore. And then afterwards, they started a ranching program. They gave those ranches to the 
the few educated people. Some members of parliament, by that time we were beginning to have members of parliament and ministers and so on. And they had uh, 57 ranches in Ankore and 17 in Masaka. It was called Ankore Masaka Ranching Scheme. So I, I, I had the, the three exposures. Mbarra Stock Farm, so our president yaliati anao ngafunire echo kuona embarara stock of farm mbire ne wambire and the ranches na no mu before bine bigaze byo kuri siriamu before so, start by 1966 now when i was finishing the a level ati ano mu mwaka lukumulwe nda atano mu kaga ngo president nkaga mu kaga ngo president amaliriria a level e my question was why can't the ordinary banyankore abatasoma the, who are not uh, educated, why can they not be sensitized? And copy what, what these few are doing. The, the chiefs told me that Abanyankore took to Wabasa to Genda Kusovarabanyankore. Bakovera president in Tabanyankore to Basore Kadi. That Banyankore are impossible. The, the traditional Banyankore. Babanyankore to Basoka. The traditional one. I said, why? They said, you are wasting your time. Then I said, what do we do? To Chevanga, I said, but this Banyankore, my mother was a traditional woman, my father was a traditional woman, they were in the traditional religion, but in 1947 we went, even me when I was already born, we went to this new religion called Christianity, and we, they, they changed. If they could change from traditional religion, to this new religion which has been brought, why, why can they not learn things to help them set up their, their lives? Your president in Akobati, Obango Mama Wangi, no Baba Wangi, Bona Banyan Kolava, Yomukasonia, Neva Abira Mukanisa, Neva Somesia Bachukire, Sovanavantavandi, Raki, whatever solo Kuchuka. Even my own parents to, to go from just religion to also modernization of other areas. So I did not accept. President <laughs> Yagaine. 
the, 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 unfortunately, many of the people I was arguing with are not here. I, I don't want to call, to quarrel with people who have gone away. HMB, Abanta, Abbey, Araka, and Nabona, Abbey, Aranyu, and Abembo, Zay, Womona, Baula, Kaletaka, Kayan, Hanavo. So I did not believe that President Yarita Ikiria, Kutasovala, Kuikiria. The Banyankore could not change to improve their lives for the better. Tidala Banyankore, Tibasol, Okutu, Siba, Okutereza, Mobula, Muwa, or Obusawa. In, therefore, when we ended the, the year 1966, we, after, after our A level exams, I formed a, a, a group of two people, myself and another one. I was in Kampala, the 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 the in the in the crowds of these people. Never Kutambula Nevigereng Abatambulo Mubira Vantavo. And we were telling them about for them they had actually bigger problems than many of the Ugandans. Ivombo Bali Nevisibutata being you know singava na Uganda was single wound. First because first of all they were nomadic like the Karamajong. Okso Kabali Batambula Butambuli. But second but secondly, they had this problem which everybody has of Okore Chida Chonka. And, and using the uh, old methods of, 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 of agriculture. And so many other problems which are common to all the Ugandans. So, but me, I was sure that they could change if only somebody could talk to them simply and patiently and politely. President And to penetrate their psychology, know why are they thinking like this? So the whole of December of 1966 and part of January 67, we were walking crowd to crowd. So, President Gondi, and by the end of, uh, towards the end of, I think we, we finished, the, the schools were starting in February, I think. We got, we, got, we got temporary teaching jobs, and then we left to teach, but we had already done some work. And we had done we had done some work, Oksomesia. Uh, and we continued. Even when we went to university, whenever we would come back, we would continue. We would continue. President Yeongaira no mulimo gogo Oksomesia bantu. Ne avira mu university. Bule ya iranga. Ngani yomulimo guakola. Oktambula anga Oksomesia bantu vanu. When we finished education in 1970, we started again. And by this time, these people had settled down. They were no longer begin, they were beginning to understand the problem of nomadism. So they had and I have written about all this in the booklets which I, which I gave you, all the details, which I, I don't want to go into here. here. The, unfortunately, Idi Amin came in. And then we, we went to fight Idi Amin. And I was, we were there for 16 years, almost. So when we came back, 86 we came back to 79, but we didn't have, there was no stability. We had no time to concentrate. And 
Kale tiba 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 kolele chinene. So when we came back in 1986, I went after some few one year or so in the government here. I went back there and said, okay. Se eva irire muru kumuru enda kinana mutano. Rubani maro muka aga rubani maro ma kagumo. Tete ya irire natani kumuli mogo. So when I went back and I analyzed, I I saw that these people needed the following uh, elements. So President Ya Irire, Ya Tegerezere Ino, Irana Zwayo, Ne Oku Ikiridianti, Avichintu Chino, Chariche Tagavin to Vino. Walwo and Songe Mkuru, Ezadiz Etagisa, Avantubano, Okukola. The first one, because the boy, the, the, the parish, he was student, the parish, parish chief was talking of income, income in a general way. That confusion is what I don't want. I want you to clearly say that we need transformation from the culture of Okorra Echida Chionka to the culture of working for the stomach but also the pocket. It must, it must be clear that it is a transition. It's not just income, income, income. This is point number one. Number two, you must do so with Echevaro. Because if you don't clarify those, confusion continues. Like for instance, many, some years I came here, this Paris here, this same Paris, I came here, and were, you were growing cotton. And there was a, a genre called Iki Iki somewhere. And there was a white boy from South Africa who was running that genre. And he was trying to convince people to grow cotton. In that meeting where some of you may have been, I asked him, I said, how much, how much land do you have? What, what is the average land holding in Paris? They said average is two acres. Okay, if you have got two acres only per home, per each homestead, that means that one acre is for food. So that leaves you with only one acre which can bring income for the home. Now, how much are you getting from cotton? So, what is the yield in terms of kilograms per acre per annum? In that meeting, I don't know where we were, we're in a school where we normally sit in schools, they, they told me that the, the yield is 200 kilograms per acre, and each kilogram that time was, was uh, 200 shillings. 
Bakaba ira president. Inchi ama yake ama izawa lo solo kufuna mekiro bibiri. Atenga bulikiro etun egule siringi bibiri. That meant 40,000 shillings. Echa nekitege zanti o inukane mitu aloje na omo yake ama ize. And cotton is grown once a year. In the other half, you must put in beans and other things. So I said, but how will you get out of poverty, you people? That boy, the white boy, told me, no, no, don't worry, Mr. President. We are going to teach them how to get more yield per acre. I said, okay, when you teach them the new methods, how many kilograms will they they said, he said, the boy said, it can go to 1,000. From 200 to 1,000. Okay, let's multiply now. 1,000 times 200 shillings. That's 200,000 shillings. A year. You can see here, this is really enemy action. Okay. Kubayamba. Kubayamba. I, 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 I would have known it because you are more educated, you are more informed. You are an, an enemy of these people. So I, I said, stop this nonsense of, 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 of cotton. President in a calm Zungona to Olekerao, a win to be able to be known, but want to put him a farm. We need Pamba, yes, Pamba is needed, and, but, but we need to grow it in, in another way, not through these people. Amkuruna Kavan to a tag of farm, but you too full, Natri no Kumurima Mungeri Gandhi, got it to call Sereva never will eat a career in. I want to know Abai Kazebiri, Barukuna Kuyawe, Beta Gedagala and Navajam Bavu. So that they can be able to, to also get, uh, get out of poverty. So that's what I want you all of you to understand. President don't now get lost in pillars, windows, I don't know what. You had the muzukuru there. Oh, so, money is not the, is not the point. The po that's the point, actually. This is the, the real core of the issue of the point. Number one, go from to working for the stomach and the pocket. But secondly, do so with the chivaro. Because when you with Oktomera, without Chivaro, you will never get out of poverty. 
kolanga tutomera butomeri no uli roti moringo tiniki no yabayo titwazo mu bwavu kadi so the third point which i third conclusion was was to educate our people on the problem of land fragmentation on inheritance niyo kusomesya abantu baiswe binebyo kutemate mameita kali na dalam ngatusikisya the this one is is very dangerous kino chabulabe ino the all the you the political leaders the religious leaders the cultural leaders you must explain this danger to our people sana sana abakulembeza mu byofuzi ebyo buwangwa bakulembeza bedini sana sana twino kwatira mo twa tunyonyola bantu baiswe okwe wale chikolwa cha kusalasa la meita kali yes when the, the the head of the family goes away the children need to share. But sharing doesn't have to be destructive. Because that is when I went to Kabare. And I talked to the Bachiga there. I said, you people, I have a problem. They said, what is the problem? I said, I have got one, one uh, water pot. Water pot, I'm aware of it. Ah, ah. Neighbor government, in the now, in Saka, Moiza. President Moiza. A water pot. I said, but I have got five homes. Who, who all depend on this Ensaka? I said, so what do I do? How do I handle it? They kept quiet. They didn't answer me. Then I said, okay, my solution is that I'm going to break it up. And the What do you call the fragments of Nsaka? Uh -huh. I said, I'm going to break the Nsaka to go on the video. The Wachiga said, no, 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 you, you, have, you, you would have, because there will be no Nsaka anymore. So then I said, what do I do? They are the ones who told me themselves that, no, instead of breaking the Nsaka, the water pot, let the, let's go to the well, bring water, put in house number one, go back, bring water, put in house number two, and, until we finish the, the homes. I said, thank you very much, the Bachiga. President, you are clever people. Why don't you do it then? President, Because they told me that once you break the Nsaka, it will no longer be able to bring water. Maybe you can you can use it to to karanga amaido or something else in Zijo, but it will no longer bring water. Now, that is the issue. The family land is in Saka. When you break it into Enzijo, 
that we may no longer be able to bring you uh, am, am, am so that is, uh, but there, there is a, a good way of how you can share you have heard of shares if there is a hotel owned by the family the, the head of the family go, goes away how will you divide the hotel this, this uh, Muzukuru takes this room another one takes the toilet what, what, what sort of wisdom is that? Why don't you leave the hotel together? It earns income. You subtract uh, expenditure of what, what is used to pay the workers and so on. And, and you share the, the profits. Each one takes his own share. Even the girls who are married in their homes, they can, you can send them their share. Then each one can now accumulate your share, accumulate, accumulate, and you can have your own hotel later. That is a governor without destroying. So, this is the third point which I came to conclusion of. Number one, from Kora Echida Kionka to Okorira Echida Nensao. Echisoka Kuzomu Okorira Echida Kionka and Okorira Echida Nensao. Secondly, do so with Echibaro. Echokubiri Ochikore and Gotekere Mechibaro. But also, if you can be able to convince your siblings or the head of the family, you, you the heads of the families, insist that I don't want children to break my ensaka. The but not ensaka. Because Magoba Amatufu. But also, I, I remember what we had. You know, this, this, this school education is that people, people don't use it. I don't know why. Because in the school system, especially, especially in the university, I remember very well they were talking very clearly about intensive agriculture versus extensive agriculture. Yeukiriakusa <laughs> Okulimira 
Oba, oba kulimira awa, awa, awa tono, o inzo kubango limire watono nengo tola mechi intu. Echo muwendo, obo tola mechi inji, echi solo kumatiza. No, when you okulimira, okukore awagazi. O solo kulimira awagazi, katutu alenga okulimofa ambango limire oba kweka nyingi, uh. o solo kutola mechi kumatiza. Wadi ufunye katono budika. Yes. Na yiku banga okosisa yika nyingi. Ogenda kujamu e, 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 china kugasa. Ntiwa ilona 